What's going on guys, Josh here, I got some golden ticket tennis put a gameplay for you guys. Go ahead and flip it over, 3 out of 150, 92 speed, 97 catching, and 95 catching traffic. He has a 6-4 body, so a pretty, pretty awesome tight end. Um, he came out with, the, I think, a Michael Vick and um, a Brian Dawkins, so he was less valued compared to the other golden tickets. Right there, we end up throwing a pick trying to force it to Dennis Pillar right there, but he was less valued than the other golden, other golden tickets. People were complaining about the card and they didn't like it, but you know, it's the only tight end that we've seen that's a golden ticket so far. Now, obviously, a Don Pen golden ticket tight end is coming later, but as of right now, as of this commentary, this is the only golden ticket tight end. And to be honest, he is really underrated. He's a pretty good tight end. You can see him right there catching that little slant route, getting us the first down. But he can block and he can catch, and he's 6'4. So, you'll see later in the gameplay that. He can go up and snatch it just like Calvin Johnson. I'll put him at wide receiver and he'll do just fine against the other corners. And that's how big he is and that's how great of catching stats that he has. He can be a wide receiver for you so that's really awesome. A dual threat tight end that can be a wide receiver or a tight end. So third and 14 right here. He throws a curl route comeback route don't really know what that was 20 yards somehow ends up getting us don't really know how that happened but we're gonna try to get a stop and sh I really haven't shut off this but I'm trying to get a stop right quick he hits us with a triple option but that doesn't really go anywhere Third and five don't really know what he's gonna do here goes for a nice little I think that was a strong power I want to say uh, I think I lagged a little bit he puts on the brakes and Frank Frank Gore is his running back. Wow, <laughs> I didn't notice that. Right here, don't really know why I didn't hit stick animation right there. I did press the hit stick button, but he ends up selling for three, and we've got the first down. Right here, we got Thurman Thomas White. Oh my goodness, what was I looking at? Thurman Thomas, but this pivot ends up coming back, and I tried to do the star stack right there. Didn't want to spin twice. But this drive, man, I'm going to be trying to highlight Dennis Pena as much as I can. Do a risky pass right there, but I ran that play so much. I usually know when it's going to get open. Right here, we hit up Dennis Pena. His guy hits the deck and get a nice little first down. Like I said, hitting Dennis Pena all the way this drive. Nice little corner out with the Super Mario jump at the end. And look at that. <laughs> that stutter step was nasty. 92 speed and 92 acceleration right there showing it off and right here I don't really know why he's trying to hit us deep but Ron Landry isn't having none of that second and ten another play action tries to hit us deep but night train lane is right there that's a 95 overall night train lane pretty pretty good legend oh look at the stutter step pretty good legend to have uh, that's only uh, 20k I want to say so right here you can see me actually I put him at the second tight end spot and I'm gonna just throw it up to him hopefully he plays it well and it looks like he was sort of in a blitz right there man blitz Dennis Pitta gets a nice little touchdown and Dennis Pitta already has two touchdowns this game so that's pretty nice right here third and two just send a message to the guy I just told him not to quit because uh, it looks as a score right now he's probably gonna be quitting but I want to get some gameplay with him so I do not want him to quit. That's the one thing I hate about trying to get gameplays with cards. People quit so much, and if I have a bad game with the card, I have to read it, you know, get another gameplay. So that sort of sucks. But fourth and seven, he goes for it, and we end up breaking it up. Right here, hook and lateral. Oh my goodness, this could have been such a great play. I put the stutter stuff on, and I try to hurdle the second guy, but I might be you too easy, and I can't make a crazy play. Right there, I drew another hook and ladder. Well, I thought I was going to get in for a touchdown, but I ended up fumbling. And on the next play, I'm just going to hit up the jet sweep. Coordination with Washington. We get some pretty good blocks, and we're going to be getting into the end zone as soon as I threw another stutter step. The stutter step is such a great play. Or, excuse me, such a great move in Madden 25. Hope they have it in Madden 15. I use it oh, nearly all the time. You're going to see me abuse it in this gameplay. Nitro Lane is doing really well, has three tackles. He ends up punting the ball when he's down 18. As you see me do the stutter snap again. Thurman Thomas, seven rushes, 123 yards. Pretty awesome. You can see I have Pitta lined up at wide receiver right here. I'm just going to throw it up to him. He's 6'4. 
ends up catching it over the smaller defender and he gets in for the score. His third touchdown of the game. Pretty much going to wrap it up. On third and three, he goes for it. I play it really well. I lay the boom with uh, DRC. Fourth and two. Don't really know what he's going to do right here, but the game, like I said, is pretty much over. Goes for a play action. Warren Sack isn't having none of that. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, guys. Dennis Pitta definitely has to be the MVP of the game. Three touchdowns. And he just had an all-around game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Dennis Pitta gameplay. I'm going to be doing more gameplays in the future. So, yeah. I'm out. Bye-bye. next week and try to accomplish it again. See this so many times from this quarterback, Jim. The play of today's game is just another nice throw by the QB. Uh, he has a beautiful throw in motion. If guys get open, he puts it right on the money.